It's a sport you play outdoors as a family with a team or even alone, mm. which might work for us. <laughs> Less embarrassing that way, right, maybe. Exactly. All right, so it's inexpensive and it's similar to traditional golf, but this is actually played with a disc. Yeah, and starting today, Maine will host one of the biggest disc golf tournaments at courses in New Gloucester and North Yarmouth. News Center Maine's Hany Ashidi has more for us. The disc golf sport has been growing over time, but we saw a real explosion during the pandemic. Uh, basically because you're outside, you're away from people, um, you know, and it was away from, you know, being in a confined space. To the point that discs were hard to come by because there was such high demand. And it's a cheap sport too. Um, it's a... Uh, Green fees are about eight to fifteen dollars, depending on where you play. Cheap, and all you need are discs. The object is to throw the disc and to get it into the basket in the least amount of shots possible. For it to count, it actually has to go inside the basket. Disc golf is an amazing family sport. Since you're not competing with each other, everyone can play at their own pace. Everyone can enjoy it. Uh, very few sports actually bring that to the table. The Main State Disc Golf Championships are kicking off today. This event boasts the largest purse in Main State Disc Golf history with $20,000 added cash. We have 264 players, ages 11 to 70, traveling from 17 states. Lots of athletic moves and techniques to get good at it, but let me tell you, it's pretty fun. So the first thing you'd want to do is learn how to grip the disc, and we usually hold it with our thumb on the outside, and then our fingers touching this rim. The motion of throwing a disc golf on the beach is just kind of like this toss like that. Right. But for disc golf, you want to have more of an athletic throw. Oh. So what I'm going to do is reach back and then come across and release the disc and follow through. Okay. Great. Okay. So yeah, learning the follow through is probably one of the hardest parts of disc golf. So we've learned about the throw to get the disc in the fairway. Once you get closer to the basket, the throw changes a little bit to what they call a putt. So square to the basket, I'm gonna put my left foot back, I'm gonna go down and then, whoop, <laughs> it's a miss. Square to the basket, <laughs> left foot back. Hey! You did it. <laughs> nice shot. Yay! That was Hanny Ashibi reporting for us. And we should mention the tournament runs uh, Thursday through Sunday. And now you're about to find out why Zach and I said that we were going to play this game alone. Because <laughs> I don't know. Have you ever played disc golf before? Never. I played it maybe Hannah once. Hannah had some skills, though. So if she can do it, we can, too. Yeah. These are a little bit smaller than the disc she was using. But as you see, we've got our little <laughs> net. Is that what it's called right here? What did they rub You go first. To? All right. You go first. Get it ah, oh, you're so close. Uh, I would like to dedicate this throw to my mom. It's her oh. birthday today. This hole in one is for you, mom. Oh. That's, I'm not athletic. All right. Oh, oh, you're just going for well. it. We're going to be out of. <gasps> oh, <laughs> I was so close. Uh, okay, well, don't pick us for your one. team. Yeah. <laughs> Probably not going to take you to the victory. But anyway, it's a lot of fun. Stay yeah. with us. We've got big weather for you with Jess Conley. She's going to be leaving us, so you're going to want to say goodbye to her. <laughs> we'll be right back.